Surprise! Claire Bear is driving again. Oh, surprise, surprise. <laughs> I don't like driving. I mean, I like driving, but I'd rather sit and enjoy. Yeah, I'd rather the... sit too, but that's well, not an option. The thing is, you are sitting, so your wish is my demand. Whatever. Or command. Command. All right, what up, people? We're back. We're vlogging again, kind of. This is more of a challenge. We're really trying to expand our horizons and get out of the house, you know, because we're kind of kind of losers and we don't really do anything cool. Like, I mean, we're cool. We're really cool people. We just don't do anything cool, right? Yeah, it's true. We have no friends, which is good for me. I hate friends. Claire's sad about it. But we are going to expand our horizons and we are going to try some weird freaking drinks from Starbucks. That is right. We've all had the caramel macchiatos, the cold brews, the iced coffees, the Americanos. Some of these you guys probably have never even had. But we're gonna be trying some weird freaking items. I don't even know what these are. Claire looked them up and they're gonna be, be a surprise to me and you guys, not Claire, but the drinks will be, just not the names. All I'm saying is there's two very basic ones that everyone's probably heard of and maybe a couple or two or three that aren't as basic, but they are high maintenance order. So this person is probably gonna be very frustrated with me because I have a lot of high maintenance orders. Yeah, like I, I'm really hoping something's like the the Cookie Monster Explosion 10. C is for cookie. I really hope that's something because I think I would like that. But this is definitely gonna hurt the bank account. So if you guys could slap the like button. Let's <laughs> see if we can get 300 likes on this for the amount of dollars we're gonna spend on these. We're just gonna get the small ones though. Yeah. Because we're just trying that we just, you know, we're just trying the secret menu, so. So yeah. Let's go to Starbucks and get some free work. All right, well, we're here. I cannot wait to hear Claire order these stupid I'm literally things. so nervous to have to order these. I don't uh, want to do it. Just say, just say, hey, sorry, we are doing this school project. And we have kind of weird items. This is going to be so awkward. Hi, thank you for choosing Starbucks. How can I get started for you? Okay, and then one more, sorry. And that's going to be it. Alright, it's gonna be 1804. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, this poor lady. You just ruined her day. She's probably like Freaking dollar? Yeah, we need at least oh, eighteen thousand likes. The F God. The, some of those orders though. Two pumps of like Okay, but let me tell you, people have really, really weird Starbucks orders. Like they really do. So a part of me feels kind of bad, but then a part of me feels like she deals with this stuff. Like people have very high maintenance Starbucks orders. Imagine if this is this lady's first day on the job. Oh can I do the purple drink, the strawberry drink, and then can I do- She laughed, did you uh, hear her laugh? Yeah. Can I do the tall, venti Starbucks macchiato with three pumps of cream, soy, cinnamon, dolce. You ask and you shall receive. Well done, babe, you freaking killed it. I honestly felt so bad for that girl. We were uh, in the drive-thru for a very long time. We were. It was probably 10 minutes, but I mean, honestly, it's they- very beautiful colors. Okay, so the first one that we have, which is like so basic, and I'm pretty sure everyone on this planet, probably not everyone on this planet, but I think a lot of people have probably tried this drink, is the classic. Pink drink! I can I can actually say I've never had this. I haven't either, but I know a lot of people who have. Are you able to drink that? I can drink this one. All right, baby. Give it a taste. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. I need a little bit more. Okay, ready? Yep. Three, two, one, Nine. six. That's pretty refreshing. I don't know really why I said six, because I kind of meant like to say a higher number. I honestly would say eight. Weird, weird flex, but okay. <laughs> Okay. But it is so good. Okay, listen, I have a little story about this. This is a strawberry acai refresher. I used to get these venti every day after I worked out in college. Yeah, every day. I feel like these are not, that's not a good drink to. Hold on, just listen. It has just as much caffeine as coffee, this strawberry acai refresher. But the way you order it is with no ice and no water. And it is just like. <laughs> toxic caffeine and it's already cooled like it's already in a fridge so you don't need ice i'll get a venti one of those every day 
every single day. I cannot repeat one word you just said. That was a lot of big words, but there you go. All right, well, pink, pink drink, not bad. All right, so next up we have, oh wait, hold on. I have to pull up the name of it. Okay, next we have what we like to call the Skittles Frappuccino. Oh. Okay, so I can't eat, I can't drink this one, not eat it. Fine with me. Because it has dairy in it. But this is a strawberries and cream frappuccino with vanilla syrup and raspberry syrup. So Andrew is going to be the one that tells us if this is good or not. So this is the strawberries frappuccino. Strawberries and cream frappuccino, and you add things which makes it like the Skittles frappuccino. Oh wait, yeah, I meant to say Skittles. So this is a Skittles frappuccino. Yep. I like Skittles, one of my favorite candies. That's pretty good. Is it really? It doesn't really taste like a Skittle, but God, that's cold. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I think my hand, my elbow's frozen because of my hand. That's good. Can you like explain maybe like what it tastes like? So pretty much it tastes like strawberries and cream. Like honestly, this tastes more like Starburst than Skittles. So I would personally, if I was calling this a drink, I would call it the Star Bear or the Starburst cream drink, probably is what I would call this. But do you feel like there's any added flavor? Because we did add different syrups, so it doesn't just taste like a strawberries and cream. No, all I'm tasting is like strawberries. I it kind of sticks what, in your throat. I though. wonder what the, like the actual strawberries and cream one tastes like. Yeah, so on that one, I'm gonna have to say it's not as good as the pink drink, but it's still pretty good, and I would definitely drink it again. So I'm gonna give that one a eight. I don't know why I got the pink drink. I think I gave the pink you drink a nine. You gave the pink drink a nine. Yeah, I'll give it an eight. It's good. All right, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Rock your body. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this one is going to be called the Caramels. Oops. It's called the Caramel Snickerdoodle Maki Ado. Auto or Otto? Otto. And is it, are you sure it's not caramel? It's caramel. People that say caramel are tryhards. It's caramel. Or they're cereal killers. All right, so in this one we have an iced, oh my gosh, wait, I can drink this one. You can? I can. Oh, nice. I forgot that I ordered it this way. All right, so in this one we have an it is a caramel Snickerdoodles macchiato. It is an iced soy caramel macchiato with two pumps of vanilla and two bunch pumps of cinnamon dolce. I want to try it first. I want to try it first. Ladies first. Oh, actually, you can go. <laughs> okay. I won't lie, I'm actually impressed. Don't, 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 don't. Three, <clears throat> two, one, eight. eight. I'm just confused how Starbucks can nail these drinks, but 80% of the time I go and get a cold brew, it tastes like butthole. <laughs> like, how are you gonna make a snickerdoodle caramel macchiato taste beautifully? Literally just like a snickerdoodle, that but is But then I go creepy. and get just cold coffee and it tastes like burnt cat hair. Literally, all I'm saying is this actually tastes like a snickerdoodle. It's kind of creepy. Okay, so snickerdoodle, caramel, macchiato, whatever, good. Hey, it's very good. Very a lot of sugar, very a lot of sugar, so we're very hyped. Very a lot of sugar. Yes. For this one, I'm actually excited about this one. What is this one called again? Okay, so this one is called the purple drink. It kind of looks pink, but when you put it next to when you put them next to each other they look pretty much the same this one's the purple drink though yeah they do but here you go oh ow okay the purple drink is passion iced tea soy milk vanilla syrup and berries three two one seven Four. oh that tastes like perfume oh really that one sucks i thought that was gonna taste delicious fully delicious i kind of see what you're saying it kind of does taste like perfume. it tastes like perfume that is a big no 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 for me it literally tastes like perfume like no joke it tastes like perfume would taste yeah it does kind of taste like something that i would want to smell like yeah like if i had a soap like if i was like in hawaii and i was taking a shower like and i used that type of soap i feel like i'd be quite refreshed you know but overall i honestly am impressed like i mean i'm not even saying starbucks made that bad i'm just sure I don't like that style. 
All right, the last thing we're gonna do is we're going to pick our favorite, obviously. Which is kind of already obvious if you guys have been keeping score, since I'm assuming our favorite is the one we rated the highest. But maybe after tasting all of them, you would be like, oh, I don't know. Okay, yeah, I like that. I like that. Should I go first or you? I'll go first. If it's hot out, give me that pink drink. Yeah, yeah, right here. Oh. And then if I'm like bored and sick of the pink drink, I'll go the snickerdoodle punch drink. I would kind of agree with you. But this is what I would say. If I wanted a dessert type of drink, the caramel snickerdoodles macchiato would be what I was looking for. It Because it, it tastes like a snickerdoodle. It's kind of like a dessert, you know, coffee. Um, If I was like balling by the pool side, obviously I don't do that a lot because I'm not tan. I would go with the pink drink. I think the pink drink is better than the purple drink. So yeah, I'm kind of with Andrew on that one. I don't know though. I think I was the most impressed with the snickerdoodles one because it actually tastes like snickerdoodles so but yeah you dummy butts that is probably a good spot to end this video uh we tested four of the weirdest most obscure drinks obscure is that a word i don't know maybe we kind of someone did point that out it was goose de la hater what that we like talk yeah we have our own like language yeah, I know. a little weird so Shout out to you, buddy, if you're watching this. But we're out of here. We'll see you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. Oh, you and... didn't say that. Because you didn't say it. You should have done it when you had your chance. Bye. Bye. Now you get gleeked. No. Andrew, stop. Andrew, stop. Stop it.